Jim, good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's It's been a while. Um, I just feel like, because the Sweet Tooth world is so big and massive scale-wise, right? In terms of aesthetic and storylines. So, like, you can, just based on these three seasons, what's that like for you, that kind of, like, journey from script to screen for you with this show? What's it like looking at everything before going to camera and seeing it come to life on screen for you? Um, it's it, honestly now is the time to kind of do it really because in the moment you're so close to you're so in the weeds of it that it's hard to step back. So it isn't it really isn't until like the show airs that I think we're able my partner Linda and I that we're able to sort of step back and watch and go oh wow you know oh wow because you, you talk about things in broad strokes a lot of times then and. and then you start to break it down and break it down and break it down and get into these little details. And you spend so much time in the details. The most, the, to me, the most satisfying part is when you go back and go, oh yeah, that big thing that we talked about at the beginning, we achieved it, you know? So that's, that's really cool. Um, I think a big thing with the world is also like keeping it grounded and keeping it personal and keeping that point of view grounded. Cause I think that was always the big part of the comic book that I loved and big part of what we did um, in the pilot in those early episodes. And the, the challenge is once the world gets bigger is keeping that narrow point of view. Um, but I'm, I'm really happy with where it ended up. I think we kept that discipline alive. 100%. I always feel like there's this kind of ping pong match and push and pull when you're making something that, that's based on incredible works, right? Like Jeff's kind of work yeah. is just amazing and everything. Can you kind of talk yeah. a little bit in, in more detail about that kind of relationship for you specifically with that original source material? Like, was there kind of moments where you kept it around more for certain seasons? Were there some moments where you kind of left it alone? Like, I'm curious about that. Yeah. Yep, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. It can, it can definitely be intimidating when you're, when you're, when you're starting to move from that. Um, once the, once it gets up and gets moving, uh, you know, I think stories take on a life of their own, which is great. And the beauty was that I think Jeff, understood that and i think coming from comic books where he's told other comic book stories and other people have told his stories i think there was a real sense of collaboration and sort of curiosity of where we would go there i mean i think a big part of that is just casting alone you know um you know once actors come in and, and you start to inhabit a character and you realize like okay some things we can keep from the comic and keep pushing but also there's a whole new life here that we sort of have to honor so you take that and you go down some of those roads and the coolest thing is a lot of times that stuff leads back to the comic book and where those characters were, which I think is a sign of like a really strong um, um, root of an idea. And then other times it starts to go into sort of different territories and, and you and you keep going. And I think the key is always keeping the the spirit of, I think, what Jeff does and how he tells his stories alive. So that that was a big part of it. And it's interesting, too, because I remember when I spoke to you, Beth, and Jeff, yeah. you know, I think for season yeah. one, there is yeah. that kind of like, yes, we're going to do things that you see in the in the in the comics, but we're going to do yeah. things also you've never seen before, yeah. right? Because it's a live action yeah. show. So that's yeah. interesting to me. Like, it's really interesting to think yeah. about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, I, there's something fun about, like, I like keeping the audience on their toes a lot. You know, yeah. I remember, like, when I would see stuff when I was a kid that was, like, adapted from something I loved, like, I was always a little bit disappointed when it was exactly like it was as I read it. And it was a little bit like, ah, it, it was better left in my imagination, you know, what that stuff was. Only every once in a while does that stuff really get pulled off. So I think the times when we're able to sort of, like, go where you think it's going to go and then take a little turn, like, I always love those those opportunities. 100% and the final season of Sweet Tooth Worldwide on Netflix I can't wait for people to see it Jim so great catching yeah, up yeah thanks thank you yeah. so much for your yeah, time yeah you too yeah thanks thanks for spreading the word thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube this has been an Autograph Communications production